Hey, what's up, everybody? This your man, Dre Mack. Pardon my voice. I'm losing my voice, but I got to get this video out. Everybody wants Killmonger back in the MCU, but if he does come back, he has to come back a villain. And I'm going to explain the reason why. But the real question is... Are you... Black Panther 2 Wakanda Forever with that teaser trailer dropped everybody starts speculating who was the person in the Black Panther suit and the biggest speculation that went on all social media was Killmonger the return of Killmonger now I'm not opposed to the return of Killmonger if it's done right kind of like what they did in the Avengers Assemble cartoon that's on Disney Plus during the Black Panthers uh, quest that would be an excellent way to bring him back. But if he does come back, he absolutely has to come back a villain. And I'm going to tell you why. First off, let's go back to the story arc of Killmonger. Killmonger was alone. His, his uncle killed his own father, left him. Instead of taking him in Wakanda, he left him in Oakland. Had to grow up within a harsh environment. Still was very smart, still was very militant. Ended up going in the military, being the top of his class and everything. But his whole plot and revenge was getting revenge on the people who did him wrong, which was his eternal family. That's why the conflict between him and T'Challa was so meaningful because it did have a bare weight. He wanted to be the king of Wakanda because he's seen everything that happened around with different people within our community. So he wanted to be able to liberate everybody if he just be able to, if he was able to use the weapons from Wakanda to be able to rise against the oppressors, which he said in the movie. Now, let's go to Black Panther Wakanda forever. And let's talk about this. And again, pardon me, my voice for some reason left in the middle of the night when I was at work, whatever. But let's get back to this. So, in if if I take the 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 notion that Killmonger was thrown in the ocean, so let's make that a thing. Killmonger was thrown in the ocean, uh, you know, per his wishes, right? So he's found by Namor and his people. Say for instance, they resurrect him, which uh, a lot of uh, breakdown videos are showing that the the new origin for this, so this night, uh, so it's distinguished from Aquaman, is that now they worship uh, almost like a Mayan, uh, Aztecian type of culture where you can resurrect the people who drown. Well, because uh, Killmonger took the heart-shaped herb, he can actually recover. You know what I mean? Even though he got stabbed in the chest, he could probably recover because of the healing factor of the heart-shaped herb. But let's say, for instance, he did get thrown in the ocean. He's found by Namor. Namor brings him in and actually has him resurrected, and he lives among the people of Namor's people. Now, if he does come back and he see the destruction and everything and, the, and, and, and we're kind of being flooded by Namor, he can have a conflict between him and Namor since there's no T'Challa in this story. Now, in the process of that, because remember, he burnt, burnt a heart-shaped herb. There was going to be no more kings after him, no more Black Panthers after him. He made sure everything was done. That's why he should be he should come back as a perfect villain because if he does come back, he got to make sure that he gains the people of Wakanda's trust. Kind of like in that What If episode. Now, he gains the people of Wakanda's, uh, the Wakanda people's uh, trust because he saved them from the flood or from the attack of Namor. He did what M'Baku couldn't do, what Shuri couldn't do. He saves the day. Let's say, for instance, this is the plot. I don't know. This is pure speculation. He still has to be able to use that as a stepping point of being able to take over that kingdom and actually use that as a rebellion against everybody. Making, because remember, Wakanda is now in the open. So wouldn't it be perfect to be able to have a king like Killmonger, you know, who is the Black Panther, who's going to be able to wage war and destruction, which will be able to bring in again while we're going into the incursions and all of this, 
to be able to bring a variant version. If you're not gonna recast, you can bring in a variant version of T'Challa to come, you know, from a Kyrgyzian universe, get stuck there, see all the things that's going on and try to reclaim the throne as his own so he could be able to, to have this new Wakanda in his own image. But this is just something I'm throwing out there. You know, tell me what you guys think. Like, share, and subscribe to this video. Thank you for everybody who's, you know, uh, who started to follow the channel. I put this on everything. When I rebranded my channel and started doing more of my comic book news and my thoughts and stuff, basically doing what I wanted to do this time instead of what everybody was asking me to, were asking me to do, I never thought that my channel would start getting the views and the and the the people following like it did. So I'm over 500 followers. I'm blessed to even have that. Once I hit a thousand subscribers, though, I will do a contest for a free giveaway. So again. Thank you, everybody. Blessings to everybody who followed this channel. Again, like, share, subscribe. Tell me what you think. What should Killmonger come back? And if he comes back, should he be a villain or a hero? Let me know in the comment section. Until next time, peace and vibe Get something for this throat. This is terrible.